Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Welcome to a different kind of video. This one is basically just explaining what Wesker does. He's been released in the PTB today and my entire stream was what do I do? How does he work? What does he do? What's this? What's this? What's this? So hopefully this video will help explain a few things for any newcomers and anyone who can't play the PTB who wants to play or just wants to get ahead of the curve for when it's released. So if you like the video, hit a bit of like and let me know in the comments if there's anything you think I've missed. Other than that, enjoy the video. Wesker, the mastermind. His ability is virulent bound. It's essentially two dashes. The first needs charging and is shorter distance. Second seems almost uh, twice as long, but both of the same final outcome. Once you've charged his ability, simply press mouse one in the direction you want to go and he'll dash forward. Then, if you look in the bottom left hand corner, the countdown for how long you have left to hit the second dash begins. Um, it works the same as Leatherface's countdowns, cooldown, so you're used to it. And all you have to do is tap mouse one. If there's nothing in front of you, you'll hit the maximum distance. When you're dashing towards a survivor, it's important to have something behind them. The, this something could be a pallet, a window, a wall, another survivor, your stepsister, a chest, anything will do, as long as there's something behind them to pin the survivor against. Now, this is when Wesker gets kind of cool, bruv. There's loads of different outcomes to his dash and grab. If there's nothing behind, you can yeet them off into the distance, but they won't get injured, only infected. If there is something behind them, they hit whatever it is like a truck with a lovely little squishy sound and become injured. Plus, the survivor then has some really silly, stupid stand-up animation to go through before they can run again. It's kind of nuts. So you can close the gap real easy. Now, uh, this is the sad bit. You can't throw them from a great height. Behavior has stopped it from happening. I'm assuming it's so you can't throw survivors out of the map, etc. Which, even though is kind of sad, it makes sense. But what you can do is throw a survivor into another survivor. And if that survivor is already injured, they get deep wounds. It's unlikely to happen very often, but it's still kind of cool. One of the big questions was how does the infection work? It's super, super simple. Once you get grabbed, you become infected. If you become fully infected, you get a little red circle around your player avatar and that means you're a one hit. So if you get pinned, you instantly go to Wesker's back and ready to be hooked. It's still a normal for a mouse one, so you still get have to be hit twice with a mouse one. It's just an insta down for pins. Luckily, for all you dirty, smelly, pesky survivors, there are these cans which we're calling spray tans. And the spray tan doesn't work as a heal, but it does work to remove the infection. You get two uses per can. There are six boxes on the map, and once the box is used, it can't be used again, so be careful. You can use it on your teammate, and you can use it on yourself, but bear in mind, once you're cured of the infection, Wesker can see the killer instinct for a few seconds, just like Legion. Also, when you use the spray tan on a teammate, you get the killer instinct. Your teammate doesn't, which is a cheeky little nuance. Wesker can vault windows and pallets during his first dash or his second dash. Once he vaults a pallet, his dash is on cooldown, though. One thing to note is you can't grab through a window with his dash, nor do you even get a hit. So you have to hit them before they start the vault animation. If you catch them just before, you can get a hit. But if, they, if they're through the animation, nothing happens. But his dash is it's so strong and he gets such good distance, this shouldn't really be a problem for you. There's quite a lot of fun mind games you seem to be able to do with the windows and especially pallets being down. Plus you can dash up the stairs, you can dash down the stairs, which is a massive gap closer, it's so good. Also, he's got a weird kind of, if a survivor is mid-action, like when he's making a save, if you dash towards him, he just hits them for one health state. But the best thing to do is just let them make the save, go for the grab, slam the survivor into the other survivor just off the hook and send them into deep wounds too, which is, um, again, crazy strong, which I kind of like. The last two real things to add is note that he's got a 40 meter terror radius, which is huge, so it feels like he's always homing in on you and also check out this shack play you can completely shut down the shack you can dash with both dashes all the way around the shack very strong right hopefully that's enough to help you with the basics and become your best wesker main 
I imagine there will be some changes before the DLC goes live, but for now, enjoy the PTD, and I'll see you in the fog. Peace.